Hi there folks and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, as you've probably seen from the thumbnail, we are going to talk about something which comes in this splendid yellow box. Now, uh, this is probably going to generate uh, quite, a fair, quite a bit of interest, I hope so anyway. Uh, I've been looking for an Invicta uh, for some time, uh, one that wasn't a dive watch. None of your generic, well they seem to be either 40mm or 47 mil plus. Now we all know about the huge Invicta watches and we're not talking about that. They are not just huge watches. So let's get into this. This is what you get with your packaging. Um, you know, it's um, yeah, quite decent, you know, nice packaging. You get this, your typical Invicta box, which has got that wave pattern on there. And uh, I heard somebody say, a while ago that they thought it looked a bit like a Rolex box. Um, I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments if I am, but I think that Invicta did this style before Rolex did, but I could be wrong. Anyway, let's, uh, let's have a look at this. This is not one of those big watches. It's also not a diver. This is a field watch. And I actually think that this is pretty cool. Um, it's not a small watch, granted. comes on this cushion, which is okay. The rest of the box is the box. Um, you've got all your, all your paperwork in there, and you, you get a little uh, cleaning cloth as well. So we'll pop that to one side, because we don't need that. And here we go. Here it is. This is what you get. This is the Invicta Coalition Forces 33627 Field Watch. And this is the strap that it comes on. Now, before we go any further with this watch, this strap, this is nasty. Okay, it's um, no. If there's anything about this I don't like, it's this. It's uh, a bit kind of stiff, um, and I don't think it actually suits the watch. So the first thing I did was got rid of that, and I popped it on an old crazy horse leather. Uh, now. Put it on a NATO of any sort, uh, put it on a, uh, a rally strap, anything like that, anything but this, okay? That's the bad part out of the way. The rest of this, I actually think, is really good and very good value. So what are we getting? As always, we will go through some measurements. Like I said, it's not a small watch, but we'll come to that in a minute as well. We have a case size of 46 mil. With the crown, we are at 51 mil. And we have a lug to lug height of 55 mil. So quite long, quite long. And um, we have a lug width of 52. Uh, the case is all 316L stainless steel, which is all brushed. Uh, even, on the, uh, even on the bezel there, everything is brushed. The only polishing is on this crown. And uh, I think uh, as a maybe a slight negative, maybe that would have been nice if that was... Uh, if that had been brushed as well, kind of would have been in keeping with the rest of the watch. But here we go with the rest of it. And we'll move in a bit closer on this dial so we can have a closer look at that. You get that uh, that really quite cool textured dial. I really quite like that. And uh, you've got the uh, the numerals 12, 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. And baton markers everywhere else. Uh, your sub dials uh, just set on the surface. You've got your, uh, your surface of the dial. You've got the 24 hour indicator uh, this one here is your date and this one over here is your day and they are recessed into that dial with a uh, circular frame around them and that uh, kind of radial pattern which is quite good they use their flame fusion crystal technology call it what you will on this and uh, yeah it really it's not a lot different to uh, uh, say a Seiko Hardlex or um, what's the other proprietary one, quite well known one, let me think, uh, Sterling and their Cristerna. All it is, is it's their, their mineral crystal which they treat to make it a bit harder. 
okay so uh, but other than that you know I think this this is actually really quite a nice watch the brushing is well done I mean it's uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that whatsoever so from a quality point of view I can't see an issue apart from that strap and like I said you get something a bit cooler on it and uh, you know it's uh, a different thing altogether um, you've got on the just get that strap out for a minute because I'm going to show you the case back but you've also got that uh, the compass points of the compass marked around the rehaul and um, which is also quite cool and when we come to the loom I think you might be slightly surprised about that because they use their uh, their trip night which is uh, kind of renowned for not being that great but I think the application on this the way they've done it um, whether they've done it slightly differently or not I don't know but we'll come to that in a few moments we flip the watch over and you can see we have Invicta coalition for forces field tested trip night night glow flame fusion crystal and um, we've got the model number here 100 meters water resistant japan movement stainless steel case now the movement as you've probably seen is a uh, a mecha quartz and it's the uh, the seiko vh63 which is four ticks per second so you get that kind of that pseudo sweep i mean it's not it's not quite a sweep uh, it's probably around about the same kind of sweep that you're going to get from a Vostok um, so uh, yeah the crown is it's just push-pull uh, bad point is that you, when you uh, when you're changing the date you've got a quick set date pull it out to the uh, the first position so you can set your date I'm not going to do it now because we're at 10 p.m. and pull it out to the second to change time uh, what I can do though is I will roll that out you see the seconds hand has hacked and this is quite a smooth movement. We'll have a look and see where the date changes over. If you look at the sub-dial on the right-hand side, you can see it's starting to move. We're halfway across. When are we going to pop? Well, that's not bad. Two minutes to midnight. There's a song there somewhere. Uh, anyway, um, so, yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, the only bad thing is to change the day, which is now going to go, you have to wind the crown. So, uh, you know, if uh, if you're one of these that likes to pull the crown out to stop your quartz watch to save the battery, you are going to have to wind that on manually to get the day set. Uh, it's only the date that's quick set. But, uh, yeah, I mean, other than that, yeah, I think it's uh, it's actually quite uh, quite a nice watch. It's uh, It seems to be well made. I have no problem with it at all. Um, Timekeeping wise, obviously, because it's quartz, it's... Uh, really good no problems with that um the loom on this as i said was uh, a little bit of a surprise for those of you that uh, have seen my instagram looks like i need some uh, new batteries in this if for those of you that have seen my instagram you may have seen a kind of a half light photo of the loom but the way they've applied this they've applied it absolutely everywhere that might be needed including the sub dial hands and also on the compass markings so if we drop the lights down, and I think that that's pretty impressive. That's not bad at all. And uh, it does last. And uh, the, uh, the numbers actually uh, go first. If you, uh, if you can look at those and kind of look a bit kind of closer at them, particularly on the 12, you can see some kind of unevenness of the application. Uh, but the hands do hang on. And the indices... Uh, they, they hang on fairly well too, but they, it's the hands that are the last to go, and actually the sub-dial hands are, are the final part to go. But uh, they, um, yeah, I mean, it, you can still read the time uh, in the wee hours of the morning, which uh, I think is pretty good. And my light was refusing to come on then. So, yeah, there we have it. This is Invicta Coalition Forces. 33627 the uh, retail price on this is around the 200 pound mark you can obviously pick them up cheaper um i mean obviously we know about the kind of the inflated msrps and all the rest of it with, it, with invicta but uh, you know to be honest with you yeah, for anybody that's a watch collector, you're not likely to get kind of fooled by that. Um, you know, some people think it's bad practice. 
uh, to have these inflated MSRP, so it looks like you're getting a great deal. But if you just look at the price that the watch is, you know, it's, I, I really don't see uh, that it's a massive problem. There are other companies that do it. Um, but yeah, it's one of those things that we kind of have to kind of grin and bear, I suppose, with Invicta. But uh, yeah, as far as the watch goes, this is a, a really good, solidly made watch. The other thing which I was going to say is about the size, because I'm sure that some of you go, well, it's 46 by 55. Yes, yes, it is. But my point there is a lot of uh, watch collectors wear these G-Shocks. You'd wear that in a heartbeat and it's um, it, it, it's 52 mil, you know, and you wouldn't think twice about it. And, you know, but if that's 46, you know, and, and you know, people start saying, well, it's too big. Well, actually, is it? I suppose if you've got a wrist that's kind of smaller than kind of seven inch, yeah, it might be getting on a, a bit. And yeah, it's this this here could overhang a bit, but it's no different really to uh, to to a G-Shock. This this particular one is pretty much the same dimensions, lug to lug. So you know, it's uh, I, I I don't yes, they do make some big watches, some very big watches, but you know, and they're not for everybody. But I think that this this is pretty cool. I quite like this. Um, I sound like I'm ranting, don't I? I'm not. I'm not ranting, really. Um, but yeah, don't be afraid to get one. It's a great watch. It really is a good watch. I really like it. I can't find anything to fault apart from this. And, and this, is, this is dreadful. This strap is awful. So that's going in the bin. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks very much for watching and putting up with my ranting. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have leave us a thumbs up, that'd be brilliant. And please subscribe to the channel and uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload any more content. But that's it for now. As I said, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers for now.